there. Welcome to your Thursday Five to Know. We do have to get through some sour trending news before we get to the good stuff, so just bear with me. Two dolphins were found shot and stabbed within a week off the coast of Florida. Biologists with the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission discovered the first dolphin off of Naples late last week. That dolphin died from what appears to be a bullet or wound from a sharp object. The second dolphin was found with a bullet in its left side along Pensacola Beach. The NOAA is seeking any info from the public and is offering a $20,000 reward for information. As promised, here's the lighter stuff. This story could potentially be the best thing you hear all day. It's out of Warnersville, Pennsylvania. It's a story thanks to reporter Irene Snyder at WFMZ. Meet Ronnie Baconstow. She's a 98 year old who has not stopped selling Girl Scout cookies. Ronnie said back in the day when she first became a Girl Scout in the 1930s, there were only three different types of cookies, each just 15 cents a box. All right, to the weird stuff. KFC and Crocs are teaming up to make a new type of shoe. There'll be a classic clog and then a sky-high platform style clog. Both options have the iconic red striping that resembles KFC's chicken bucket. And they're topped off with a print of the Colonel's famous fried chicken. But wait, it gets worse. On top of all that, there's a scented 3D fried chicken charm. Okay. You can get either of those for a mere $59.99 in spring of 2020. In entertainment trending news, Game of Thrones star Sophie Turner and Jonas Brothers' brother, Joe Jonas, who got married late last year, are now expecting a baby. Alrighty, to wrap up today's Five to Know, kind of going off of yesterday with all that exciting space stuff going on with those FRBs signaling to Earth from 500 million light years away every 16 days. Pretty cool stuff. Kind of cool, kind of weird. Good news! NASA is hiring more astronauts. NASA announced they're accepting more applications for the next class of Artemis generation astronauts. Currently, the agency has 48 active astronauts, but quote, more will be needed to crew spacecraft bound for multiple destinations as part of the Artemis missions and beyond. This is where we say goodbye. There's your trending news for the day. I'm Nia Corona. I'll see you tomorrow to wrap the week.